the A4000D slash WCK water conversion kit for the Stuart Aquatron A4000D and A8000 consists of a float switch assembly you've got the deionizer tube assembly you've got the Jubilee clip straight connector and a plug This video is about the installation of the A4000D slash WCK water conversion kit to the Stuart Aquatron A4000D water still. Before we start to fit the water conversion kit to the unit we need to ensure that the electrics has been disconnected and there is no water connected and the unit is is, is safe to actually work on. Okay, the first thing to do to fit the water conversion kit is remove the front cover, remove the lid, six screws, Remove the side panel, and we also need to remove the switch panel, which is just one counter screw. We can then lift the switch panel out, which will give us good access to the plumbing inside the actual unit. Okay, the next thing to do is to locate the tubing which connects to the boiler level control. It's labelled number 5. We need to take that off. We then fit our plug from our water conversion kit to the tubing, like so. The cold water will then come through the condensers, come out the top of the condensers, come through the pipe and out to drain and it is blocked off by the plug there. That will then create the cold water atmosphere in our condensers. The next thing to do is to connect our deionizer pipe assembly to our water inlet solenoid which is here. Firstly we fit our Jubilee clip onto our tubing. We then fit the tubing onto the solenoid. We can then tighten up the Jubilee clip there. From our deionizer pipe assembly, we then take our earth cable, fed through the hole in the chassis, and this is then connected to the earth point there. Undo the nut, fit the uh, earth cable, put the nut back on, tighten up. The next thing is to connect our deionizer pipe assembly to our boiler control. So that fits onto there like so. And that is tightened up there. Our deionized pre-treated water will then come into our boiler level control. We'll now fit our float level assembly to our boiler level control. First of all, we're going to do the black cap, remove the funnel, remove the black cap and the seal. We then fit the black cap onto our float assembly, 
this comes complete with seal and the float assembly fits like so. At the bottom of the boiler control there's a cutout that is where the bottom of the float assembly actually fits. We can then tighten up the black cap. We then connect our plug, our float level assembly. First of all we take the blanking plug off like so and then fit the plug to the connector in there. We can then remove the blanking cap from our deionized water or pre-seated water inlet and we can fit our straight connector into there. You can then connect your tubing, uh, suitable tubing for your deionized or pre-treated water. The water conversion kit is now fitted to the unit. The next thing to do is to fit the switch panel, fit the side panel, fit the lid. When you've fitted them, you can then connect up your electrics, connect up your water, and do operate your unit using the DNI's water. Check for any leaks inside there, and also check that the float assembly, the float switch assembly, in the front boiler level control actually switches on and off the deionized or pre-treated water actually coming into it.